I am just so glad I didn't do this, do the hair and the dress. Just so glad to do the hair and the dress for this video. Hi everyone, and today in this video, I'm going to be doing a 1980s makeup look. So I'm just going to fix my hair real quick. Here we go, it's all up. And I'm going to do this look. So what I can see from looking at these pictures is that there is a lot of bright eyeshadow that goes all the way up to the eyebrows. So I think, and what I see mostly is a lot of bright pinks or bright blues, so I will be, think, I will do a bright blue look since I don't have any pinks. And then I also notice a lot of bright lips and bright pink cheeks for the blush. So we are going to try this look out. All right. I am just going to open up my makeup box. I just got this today and I am in love with it. It's all organized now, like, I don't have to rummage through a Sephora box from when I got makeup shipped to me. Like, ah! Makes me so happy. I'm going to do... Here is the look I will be trying to attempt. See, is it on screen? Yep, there it is. That one right there. Now, I don't have any lip liner to line, overline the lips with, so we're going to try to attempt this look with what I got. Okay, grab my normal foundation, apply it on my brush. There we go. Just grab my beauty blender to try and like set it all in. There we go. There we go. Now that that's done, going to go for my eyes. I'm just going to be using this palette here. Don't know what it is. I've had it for a while. It's just bright colors that I never use, so it's something that I could use for this. I actually had to dig for this because I couldn't find it anywhere. And the top of it broke off too. So. It'll honestly make it a little bit easier, so I'm just going to be applying a purplish bluish color over my whole lid. I'm going to be going in with this color here, applying it over my whole lid. Alright, there you go. Now I'm going to try my very best to clean it up. Alright, I've got my q-tips so I'm going to try and clean this up a bit. Oh my gosh, there's so much fallout. It is literally insane. Here we go. There is one eye cleaned up. Now I'm going to go clean up this eye. Like, look at that. There we go cleaned up okay. and the next thing in this look is they have some black right here at the crease so I'm going to add that in with 
because it says I don't have a crease crease brush. I'm going to add it in with this brush right here. Now head, go in with my black. Except there we go. And next I have is a really dark blue underneath the eye. So I'm going to grab a thin brush. This one right here. And apply this dark blue right here underneath my eyes. Into the crease of my eye. There we go. I'm going to... Not the crease, the underneath of my eye. I'm going to tap off the excess and just run it across. Something you'll eventually notice about me is when I apply my eyeshadow or my eyeliner, I open my own mouth. I open my mouth, but when I apply mascara, my mouth is shut, which is very weird to everyone. And now I'm going to grab another Q-tip and just try to smudge it. Ah! Into the eyeball. Into the eyeball. That kind of hurt. There we go. Here we go, I've smudged it the very best I could. And now the next thing she has on is some black eyeliner. Let me look for my Wonderland, my Wonder Wand gel liner and just going to apply it. I'll use my actual mirror, my bad. She has a wing, small one. That oddly goes from the under eye, the lower lash line rather than the top of it. Hey, you do you girl, you do you. Right now I'm going to apply a thin line to my upper lash line with my liquid if I can find it. A thin line to my upper lash line. There we go. And now she all she also has black on her waterline. So I'm going to do that real quick with my Wonderland Wonder Wand eyeliner. All right, so here's the eye look. Tried to connect that a little bit more, but just seemed to mess it up even more, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. And now I'm going, I'm looking closely now to the eyes and it appears that she has a bit of pink up here. So I'm going to don't really have pinks so I'll go in with this like reddish color right here and I'll apply it up here above the blue and the black and she brought it up to her eyebrow bone so brought it up to her eyebrow so I'll do the exact same all right 
Uh, you know, just so it's not so shocking, I'm going to go in and add a bit of white up here. Like, not a like white white, but you'll see what I mean when I once it's applied. Just adding a bit of my own touch to this. Blend that in a little bit. This brush. Here's the final eye look. Bit scary, bit shocking, but hey, I'm just going off what they did with, to the best of my abilities. I'm going to go in with a brush. This is my Taper Pro Position Tapered Luxie 640 brush. No, it's not what it's supposed to be used for, but I'm going to use it for my blush. If it will let me. The excess, go in. Now they went ham on their blush. Their brush. Blah, 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 blah. Went ham on their blush, so I am going to try to do the same. Okay, yeah, no, this brush won't work for that either. I can't find a purpose for that brush yet. I will eventually. And this isn't a blush brush either. My blush brush is suddenly missing, so I'm going to use this brush. I use it for a lot of stuff. Nope, that's not working either. I'll use this brush. Now that I'm looking at it, I realize it's my, the blush brush I usually use. With my cream blush. Oh god, that's terrifying. Let's see if we can lighten it a little bit. Uh, no, of course not. It's a bit too red. Which is why I never use it. But... I'm going to also add in a bit of a lighter color to try and dim down the woe factor of this. I feel that it did dim it down a little bit, so. There you go. Just blend it out with my fingers. Although, Here's the blush. Whoa! Ah! Okay. Now for the lips. Let's see. The brownie color right there. I'm gonna go in with that one. Just dig right into it. I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Yep, now I'm going to fill in with a lipstick. My Revlon Colored Suede Lipstick and Ultimate Suede. Just going to fill that in. Now, go. I'm going to over, go over that in a gloss. That I have in here with the same brush from before and it's a redder gloss it's a red gloss and I'm just going to go over that there's the lip look overlined in a brownish color red lip now here is the final look. 80s makeup. 
it for sure is a thing it's been really popular on YouTube lately so I decided I'd try it out not a fan of the look definitely glad I don't live in the 80s I never lived in the 80s um, though this was popular then I no just just no but here it is And I'm just gonna go wash this off because <laughs> I don't like it and I really hate the smell of this lips lip stuff If you like this video or any of my other videos, please like this video Like it down below Subscribe down below comment down below if you want to find out when more of my videos are gonna come out click that uh, bell right there and to turn on the post notifications and Or there. I'm not sure if this will flip when I um Post it because sometimes it flips, sometimes it doesn't. It's the dirtiness of my mirror. So I just wiped off my face as best as I could with the wipe. It's not coming off of my eyes underneath. Like, and I've been scrubbing underneath my eyes. And this is what it looks like just my lip and a little bit of my under eye. And then you flip it over to the back. That's all blush and eye makeup. Usually what shows up on my wipe is mostly foundation and concealer and very little anything else. And if that doesn't tell you what 80's makeup is like, it's, I don't know what will because it's just all eye and all lip and all cheek and not much face. It is just bad. I am going to be Scrubbing my face right now, doing a mask, hoping, hoping to just cleanse this all out of my skin because this was just terrible. And until then, see you later. Bye.